Alrighty guys, so, um, again, very long awaited video here again. I am very, very sorry for not posting, um, as daily as I normally do, but again, I am working on my second channel. Again, I am working out some kinks for a video that I am gonna go ahead and post, um, hopefully relatively soon, but again, this video is, again, very different from normally what I usually do, so there's a lot more editing that is required and needs to be done, but again, that is not the focus of today's video. Uh, what I wanted to go ahead and do today was kind of discuss um, what exactly you should spend your little Goku Day books because um, over here in the news section, we do have the campaign for the Goku Day, uh, which of course, you know, I think it's the 8th of May, which stands for like Goku um, in the Japanese language. So again we do have the kind of like the little mini celebration for goku day um they did give us um a very nice login bonus reward um and then they also gave us these little baba books or like baba shop books that you can go ahead and exchange um for the goku family units which before were just the family kamehameha units so just these three guys but um they did go ahead and uh essentially give us a lot more options to go ahead and choose from so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to kind of discuss uh, which units really are kind of like the best value uh, for your Goku Day books. So right off the bat, I would not recommend you guys get any of the Goku family units that you guys see on screen. Again, I do not recommend them. They are not very good even after their easy A. And honestly, they're really just kind of mid. Uh, so again, do not at all recommend you guys get them. Um, but again, maybe if you're a new player, again, they're not like a horrible decision to get. But if I'm being completely honest, there's like just so many other better units out there now. Like even like just completely free to play. That makes these guys like literally completely irrelevant. Um, now moving on to the units that they did add. There are some good options here. And then I will just immediately put on blast the options that are like absolutely like don't get these units unless you like for whatever reason really really want them uh first of all would be this easy a super saiyan 3 goku do not get this guy literally under any circumstances he does have an easy a but his easy a was literally one of the first in the game so he is just again not a unit that i would recommend you ever get with your um i guess call them like goku scrolls uh so again right off the bat do not ever get him same thing I would say with this physical ultimate Gohan is, again, old ass easy A. He is really not good. He is complete garbage. Do not spend your uh, Goku books on him. He is just, again, absolutely abysmal. No, never, never, never spend your Goku Day books on him. Um, this guy, on the other hand, is actually not a bad option. Uh, he does, of course, Dokkan Awaken, and he is a Goku's family leader, so technically again if you are a newer player and you want to run like a goku team he is actually not going to be a bad unit now this guy also does have an easy a his easy a is actually surprisingly good um again he is a defensive stacker so he does have that going for him he does get a lot of attack and defense on super so realistically speaking this guy is probably one of the best options you can go ahead and run um the only issue is that again really in hindsight between this goku and the vegeta uh his counterpart that released at the same time and both and both got their easy a's vegeta really is the better one but again this goku at the same time i don't want to be too harsh on him he is still um a rather decent unit to go ahead and run so again if you are to choose any unit on here that you don't have uh and say for example you you really want to buff your super tech team or maybe you do you just need like better super tech goku options this guy is an absolutely perfect candidate for you to go ahead and pick up with your squirrels. Um, again, do not get this guy. He is also old like the physical one. So he is, again, just complete garbage. Do not even consider getting this guy. He is just horrible, 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 horrible. Do not get these old easy a units. They bring no value to the table and they benefit you literally none whatsoever. These guys are just terribly bad. Um, this Goten here is actually probably one of the better options to run. This guy after his EZA is amazing. He does raise his attack and defense for six turns, 
meaning this guy has actually like super good defense um, after he uh, super attacks for maybe even once or twice. Again, this guy can get pretty high up in terms of defense. Like this guy can easily clear um, 200k. Um, after his EZA, he is a support type unit as well. Um, he does give like I think 18% attack and defense to like all allies if there's like a certain trunks android 18 or krillin on the team if i'm not mistaken uh, again i don't have all their um, details are uh, memorized but um again this goten kid is still a very very fantastically good option to go ahead and get with your um goku day scrolls next up is this gt goku now i'm not sure if his easy a is out on global but um, his EZA on JP was surprisingly decent for, again, a unit of his age. Um, again, he's not like anything game-breaking or like busted. Uh, I guess I should have said that also with the Super Saiyan Goten. Again, like they're not crazy busted units. But in terms of just like a regular player, um, again, he should be able to uh, provide you with some utility. Again, he, he's not like tremendously powerful. Like, for example, Evolution Blue Vegeta. Uh, the easy a1 like he like he, like he's not like on that level but at the same time he's not like i don't know who's a terrible easy a unit that's recently come out i don't know they really haven't been screwing over easy a units um but i guess he's not like one of those older easy a units in the game now where again they're just like completely useless after their easy a like this guy's easy a does have value he can actually help you in a certain difficult content so uh, again, if you really need like a like another GT Heroes option on your team or just any other option on you know one of the many teams that this guy is on, you know this guy is not going to be a terrible option for you to go ahead and pick. Now this Gohan here, again, he is actually a very interesting unit because I I don't believe his EZA is out on Global yet. But when this guy gets his EZA, I actually would highly recommend you guys get this guy. Uh, this guy is really, really good after his EZA. Um, he still continues being an amazing support type unit. I think they even buff his support to like 40% if I'm not mistaken. That or they just give him key. So like he gives like I think two key and 35% to all allies. So like this guy does have utility built into him. Like he is good. Like he's a very nice support type unit. So again... I would recommend you guys get this guy because, again, he's not bad. Uh, so, you know, if you guys need, like, a really decent support type unit in the future when this guy gets an EZA or maybe his EZA is already out um, on Global because, again, I'm not too sure. Um, again, he is actually a fantastic option to go ahead and choose. Now, lastly, is this other Goten unit who, um, like I said before with the other one, is very, very good. Uh, the only difference between that Goten and this Goten is this Goten you really want to be running a Trunks with him like at all times because this guy gets extra damage reduction with the Trunks. He gets um, a lot of attack and defense uh, with the Trunks around. So again, this is a unit where having a Trunks around is really, really important for him because it's just going to really help him become an absolute behemoth of a unit. Um, again, I think this guy is really good um, even still to this day, even though again, they awaken many, many months ago you know this guy is still very very good and an absolutely amazing option to go ahead and pick up with your um goku scrolls so again those are essentially like all the units in my opinion on them if i were to really rank them on like maybe one like the top three for example uh number one would probably be this goku because again he is a goku's family uh you know leader which again if you're a free-to-play player and you use all your scrolls again he is really going to be able to help you th uh, this uh, tech Goku because, again, he's a Goku's family uh, leader when you go ahead and Dokkan Awaken him. When he's not Dokkan Awakened, he's only a tech type leader. So, again, it, it is basically very, like, important that you do get this guy to his Dokkan Awakened state where, again, he's a Goku's family 3 key and a 120% leader. Um, so that would be, in my opinion, the number one option to pick. Number two, um, I would probably go with um, this Goten right here. Uh, again, this Goten, again, is just very, very good. Even without a Trunks or an 18 or a Krillin on the team, this guy is still going to be able to raise his defense on his super attack for six turns after he's easy aid. So, again, he is going to be a very good unit in the long run because, again, he's able to stack his defense. He's, he's able to get at those moderately high levels, high levels of defense. So, again, this is another great option to go ahead and pick. Um, now, in terms for the last unit... Um, I actually didn't really talk about this guy all that much, but um, kind of like 
tied for the number three spot would be this physical Goku, as well as this um, Gohan here. Uh, this Gohan in specific, because again, he is a support type unit. So again, when his EZA does come around, or maybe it's already out on global, uh, again, he is going to be able to support your whole team, making him very easily one of the best units in terms of utility for you to go ahead and run. And I did choose this physical Goku in specific because he is a super battle road killer. This guy after his EZA has so many chances to stun from his passive and from his super attack effect, making him again a very, very, val very valuable unit in many super battle road stages because if you take a look at this guy and the amount of teams that he's on again he is going to be able be able to help you in every single one uh like goku's family pure saiyans movie hero super saiyans um and i think that's it i i don't think bond of friendship accelerated battle or powerful comeback have stages yet but for those four stages again this guy's going to be a great like floating option on the team because again he's going to be able to stun he's going to be able to i think he wait does he seal because i don't think he seals uh on his super attack but he is like again a very very good unit when it comes to stunning so again he is going to be able to give you at least at the very least some level of utility with the stuns so again those two units are kind of tied for number three but again it just really depends on what you exactly see now for me personally because again of the way that i like 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 eh, because of you know the units that i have in my box I really don't need any of these guys. Um, in fact, I'll probably end up pulling this guys, uh, these guys from multis. So what I'm going to do, and I think this is another really good option, is I'm just going to spend them on Elder Kai's, as you guys see right there. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and straight up do that. I don't need, you know, like I said, any really of the units on the uh, Goku scroll, like featured units. Again, I, I, I really don't need them. So for me personally, again, I decided to go ahead and get Elder Kai's, which honestly I would recommend for every person who has been playing this game for a while. Now, you know, you already have your units and team set up that you can run and all that. Um, I would honestly recommend just go for the Kai's, you know, just like literally just get the Kai's because it's going to be able to help you to level up your character super tech in the future. And again, it's just a really nice, valuable resource to have. So um, again, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, um, who you are planning to get, and whether or not you found this helpful. Um, again, I would really love to hear from you guys in the comments, like I said. And if this is your first time stumbling across my channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that red subscribe button um, and ring that notification bell. Again, I try to post daily. Uh, I, I know I've been <laughs> uh, failing at it um, in the past, but again, your boy tries and tries. Um, again, sometimes it's just, you know, a little bit too much sometimes, but, um, again, we're here. We're still, we're still going to be posting content. Uh, so yeah, like I said before, that is going to do it for today's video and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. The name of this one is Rosé. Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.